America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you another modern story of today. Here is K-7. Ladies and gentlemen, may I repeat a statement I have made many times. Today, spies and information peddlers are a great menace to the peace of the world. It is the story of an information peddler I bring to you now. This man, whom I have called only by his first name, was doubly despicable since he posed as a servant of his country and a patriot. My friend John Holbrook will introduce the story. Thank you, K-7. Recently, K-7 told the story of how secret agent M first encountered Yvonne, the girl who became his assistant. Now we bring you the story of the second time M and Yvonne worked together. M was investigating a case which involved the leakage of diplomatic secrets. His findings took him to a continental city. He'd been there but a few hours when he was approached in his hotel lobby. Monsieur the agent, do you remember me? Uh, yes, yes, of course I do. You are... Uh... Please. It is enough that you know me. Do not call me by my name here in this place. As you wish. We can talk better over there across the room. You will listen to me? Of course I will. Then follow. You see, it is better here. I am glad that you do not hold old scores against me, monsieur. I am in trouble. I need your help. I'll be glad to give it if I can. During the war, I was a... A politician. That is a kind way to put it, but it is true. Now I serve my country here. I am in the diplomatic service. So I understand. Certain code books were placed in my keeping. They, they have disappeared. I see. Unless I get them back, I will be ruined, monsieur. How long have these code books been missing? How long? That is hard to say. You see, uh, I did not have to use them often. Uh, only today I noticed they were gone. And I arrived only today. What do you mean, monsieur? <laughs> Nothing. It's a coincidence, that's all. Uh, Sandra, I may be busy for a few days. However, I'll keep your code books in mind, and if I hear anything, oh, I... Uh... thank you, monsieur. I knew you would help me. I, I cannot afford another scandal, monsieur. I... Thank you. Later that evening, M. telegraphed Yvonne. He wrote the message out, then studied it. You asked to assist me. If have case on which you can help. Come here at once. Register at hotel and wait for message from me. Expenses enclosed. Yes, that should bring him. Send this immediately. Also this money. At once, monsieur. Thank you. Now, uh, let's see. The cable office is to my right. Yes, there it is. I must contact case seven at once. Two days later, Yvonne arrived. She registered at the hotel, went to her rooms and waited. A few hours later, M knocked on her door. Let me in, Ivan. Em, I wondered when you would come. Quick, close the door. I'm so glad to see you. Thank you for calling me. I promised I would. Ivan, I need your assistance. You will be especially valuable to me here because you're unknown. Now, I can't remain with you long, so I'll outline our case at once. Sit down, then. Now, I'm ready. Briefly, here are the facts. Diplomatic and military information has been leaking out. The results of certain tests, valuable information has been decoded from wireless messages and sold. How could that be, him? And if the spies possess the code books... They do possess them, Ivan. The books have been reported stolen. They were in the hands of a minor diplomatic representative. Then why have the codes not been changed? That has also been done. The information continues to leak out. Then it is not going to be easy, is it, Em? Uh, I'm afraid not. Unless you are successful. Tell me what I'm to do. I was coming to that. On my first day here, the man who has reported the loss of the code book said to me, Do not call me by name here in this place. Uh, we were downstairs in the hotel lobby at the time. What do you make of that, Ivan? That someone here might recognize you? Exactly. <laughs> you will do, Ivan. He was afraid that either he or I or both of us would be seen. Evidently, this hotel is the headquarters. Now, of course, it may be some of those involved lived here. What is your plan, Ian? It may not sound like much of one, but all I want you to do is have dinner alone each evening in the dining room. Is that all? That is all. I want you to always sit alone. And at the same table. Oh, yes, there's one thing more. I have arranged that you will receive some mail. It will come to you from another country. You are never to stop at the desk for that mail, Ivan. When you're in the dining room, ask the head waiter to bring it to you. That is all I am to do? Nearly all. 
after opening your mail, burn it at your table. And if anyone should ask who you are, merely say that you're a patriot. Tell them that you think only of your country's welfare. And I am to be a sort of trap, is that it? Yes, Ivan, you are right. You will be a trap, a very beautiful trap. Oh, thank you. Now, I must leave you. Good luck, Ivan. And uh, watch the blind man who stands in the street outside the hotel door, the one to whom you gave a coin this morning. Goodbye. I may contact you later. Yvonne followed M's simple instructions. Each night she dined alone, and each night she received a letter which bore an important seal. M seemed to have disappeared completely. Good evening, mademoiselle. You will want your same table? Yes, of course. Uh, this way. I have reserved it for you. May I take your app? Thank you. Here is your mail, Mandel. I took the liberty of getting it. Put it down. I will read it later. Yes, Mandel. Is there anything else I can get for you? My dinner, of course. I was not thinking of that. Only that you are always alone. You are not expecting anyone or perhaps a message? No. Evidently, there was no one here who was interested in me. You see, I am a patriot. I am interested in nothing but the welfare of my country. Oh, you serve your country, Mamsell? In a small way. Sometimes I hear useful information. Uh, your country? Is it interested in air defense? Of course. Then perhaps I can help you. If you would receive a message in your room... I shall look forward to its coming. You will accept this? It is a 100 franc note. Oh, Mandela is generous. When I'm given information that interests me, I pay well for it. Now, my dinner. At once, my dear. Was the trap working? Yvonne finished her dinner and decided to take a short walk. The head waiter escorted her to the hotel's door. There is a wind, Pamsel. Now, let me hold your hand. I'm not going far. Wait, my bag. I can see the blind man through the window. I must get a coin for him. I have not seen him there before. I'm ready. Good night. Good night, Mamsel. Tomorrow, you will receive a note. Follow its instructions carefully. I will. It is cold for you to be standing in the street, monsieur. I will put a coin in your cup. Perhaps you can go home now. The next day, Yvonne received a note. She was instructed to telephone to a certain number. She made the call immediately. Hello? Hello? You are interested in my offer, mademoiselle? Yes, I am very much interested. Who are you? Uh, that does not matter. Tonight, I will send a car for you. At what time? Nine o'clock. Be ready. I'll wait in front of the hotel. Until tonight, my friend. That evening, the car arrived, and Ivan was driven away. Outside the city, it stopped for another passenger. Then it drove into the night. Tests are being conducted at sea, man said. A robot plane, controlled by radio, flies over a target and drops bombs. It could fly over a city. You have complete information as to how it operates? The tests have been going on for a week. Every message between the technical staff conducting the tests and the military officers ashore has been decoded. The information is here in this envelope. Then I will buy it. How much do you want? 200,000 francs, mademoiselle. Oh, it is a lot of money. I, I have not that much with me. You will have to drive me back to my hotel. To the hotel? Very well. But I must warn you, Mamsell, if you try anything... Go back to the hotel, driver. Oui, monsieur. It is not far. The officers of your army will gain much information from these notes, Mamsell. If war should come... Do you think there will be war? Someday. Who knows when? You have not told me your name. Uh, does it matter? I have the information you need. I will let you inspect it before you pay me. But what if I should want to contact you again? You need only contact the head waiter. That is useful information, monsieur. It is a simple method. But uh, here's the hotel. Remember my warning. I'll be gone in a few moments. I will wait here, mademoiselle. You will be watched. 
Oh, monsieur, have you a coin? It is for the blind man. Of course, mademoiselle. Here is one. Thank you. Good evening, monsieur. Here is your coin. You have the papers with you in the car, in. Ivan, wait for me inside. Ah, mademoiselle, you have returned. Yes, your dining room is deserted. Uh, yes, it is past the dinner hour. Then uh, step inside. I want to talk to you. Uh, here it will be all right. Yeah. You wanted to say something? Wait. Mademoiselle, is this a trick? I have a pistol. Look before you attempt anything. The blind man. And Sandor is with him. Stand over there, Sandor. Uh, take my gun, Ivan. Keep them both covered. I want to have a look at these papers. You cannot do this. I have a perfect right to those papers. They tell about tests conducted by my government. Is everything there, Ian? Everything. Sandor, you're under arrest. You cannot prove anything. I have a right to the papers. Perhaps you would have had a right to them if they dealt with real tests, Sandor. As it is, they trap you. Your government is not testing a robot aeroplane. Huh. What, what do you mean? An old friend of yours, K-7, arranged these messages. They were part of a trap. This information is all false. Sent out to prove that you are a spy. I had nothing to do with it. He lies, him. Sandor told me that they worked together. We'll have no trouble proving that, Ivan. These two have sold out their country for the last time. The authorities will be here for them in a minute. And then will you put away your dark glasses and your tin cup? I want to have dinner and with you. I'm tired of dining alone. <laughs> Such men as Sandar are dangerous to their own countries and to the peace of the world. Special agents hate them, for we know their menace. We have seen the horror of one war, and if it is within our power, we will help prevent another. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking.